steepest deflationary forces globally grip Gulf states. Price declines in Qatar, Bahrain, and the UAE are the steepest among more than 80 countries tracked by Bloomberg. The world's steepest deflation is set to linger across Gulf Arab states as the coronavirus pandemic broadens a slump in prices that started with a downturn in their housing markets. Price declines in Qatar, Bahrain, and the United Arab Emirates are currently the biggest among more than 80 countries tracked on Bloomberg's Global Economy Watch. Oman, another of the six members of the Gulf Cooperation Council, isn't far behind. Inflation has been positive in Kuwait and recently picked up in Saudi Arabia after it tripled its value-added tax. Restrictions imposed to stop the virus have translated into record deflation from Qatar to the UAE as social distancing rules, job losses and the departure of foreign workers crushed consumer demand. Adding to the drag from housing, a downswing in oil is another challenge for the region's $1.6 trillion economies putting it on course for what could be its worst recession on history. Whether inflation is on the way back is now a key question that divides the financial world. In the Gulf, the threat of sustained price declines may not have the same implications as it would for countries with independent monetary policy and flexible exchange rates. Most local central banks generally track interest rate decisions by the U.S. Federal Reserve to protect their currency's pegs to the dollar. But the extent and duration of falling prices give a glimpse into the damage to consumer confidence and the adjustments among households that followed. A monthly eFuture Consumer Index survey in August found that frugality is increasingly becoming the norm in the Middle East and North Africa, marking a shift in behavior that may endure even after the crisis is over. The whiplash was especially strong once coronavirus cases began to rise quickly in the region from March. In the UAE, prices for culture and recreation were growing at an annual pace of almost 11% in February. By June, they were down nearly 19% from a year earlier.